at home, victims of Camp Lejeune's water contamination are celebrating a bittersweet victory. The EPA announced they are banning two cancer-causing chemicals, both of which were found in the drinking water on the military base years ago. On your side's Olivia Wolfson spoke with some people close to this issue. Olivia, what did you learn? Ken, the EPA says they're banning uses of TCE and PCE. Those fighting for justice for those affected by these chemicals at Camp Lejeune say it's been a long time coming. Excuse my friends, but it was about damn time. 1984, Brian Ambergy was stationed at Camp Lejeune for combat engineer training. During this time, him and thousands of others on the base were exposed to contaminated water. Fighting the battle for my other Marines and Navy personnel and their families for uh, the, all the toxic water was Camp Lejeune. The EPA announced they'll be banning all uses of the chemical TCE and most uses of the chemical PCE. They're known to cause different types of cancer and damage organs. They're sometimes found in degreasers, glues, arts and craft supplies, and brake cleaners. PCE is also sometimes used in dry cleaning. They're also both known contaminants of the Camp Lejeune drinking water. When it comes right down to it, people expect us, the EPA, to keep them safe from unsafe chemicals. And if we couldn't do that for a chemical like TCE, I really feel like we wouldn't have been doing our job the way Americans expect us to do our job. Friedhoff says the EPA did not have the power until 2016 to regulate these chemicals. The law requires EPA to do a multi-year risk evaluation on these chemicals, not just to look at why they're bad for you if you're exposed to them, but also to look at the way they're used and to see whether the way they're used actually results in exposures to people. And that took a number of years to complete. For veterans like Amber Gee, they hope this will help them in their fight to get justice. And I've lost some good friends over the last year and a half that, uh, that does the same stuff I do out here uh, trying to get this stuff done and it, it really hurts because it makes me think about, you know, my health issues that that possibly could be me and but I keep I'm going to keep fighting for them. The EPA is working on a phase out for both uses of the chemical. They hope most of TCE will be prohibited within a year. In the Jacksonville studio, Olivia Wolfson, 9 on your side. Olivia, thanks.